window capture today. Because for some reason, OBS isn't detecting my game, so we're gonna do a window capture, which means you're gonna- people- if I- if I'm not in the game, people are gonna see my default background that I need to update. <sighs> you would think that an artist would be able to come up with a more creative background than just default. Honestly, I'd love to, like, just- oh, I messed up, hold on. God damn it. I'd love to splurge and get, like, a really nice... Like, you have so much unexpectables, are you? Just stick that up there. I mean, I wanted to find that piece that Jack did of Campaign 1, but it's on my other computer. We, Why don't you just ask him to resend it to you? He doesn't have it anymore. His hard drive crashed. Mm. So he doesn't have the original mm. version. I am the only one who has a copy of it, so I need to go find it. But it's in. Yes, you do. It's currently my Franken PC, which is going to be my, my IRL stream setup PC, so I've got to get that finished. But of course, January happened, so things are a little bit uh, everywhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hi, chat! Excellent. How are you? We're back. How long has it been? It's we been live! Like, Jesus. It's been like mo a month. It's been months. Yeah, it's been literally months. I we're feel like so it's been months. Let's we're see. We're so sorry. Dude, the oh, fucking April is so busy because of taxes. Like, I had literally my driving stuff, which, no offense, chat, kind of really important to get that. And now that I'm able to drive, holy shit, is life infinitely better. Um, Mar get so, March, now. I think. I yeah. think our last game was on March 6th. Yeah. <laughs> so almost two months. Yeah, it's been almost two months. It, well, the problem was it's just like everyone, you had stuff going on, Arkov got sick, and then I, oh my god, I had taxes, driving test, literally driving test, taxes, and then uh, Unexpectables prep. Like, like three weeks in a row of just like, it was no breaks. And then, of course... I'm not feeling well the following week, and I'm just like, goddamn. After I was like, I'm gonna do all the streams forever, and then my body was like, hi, bitch, it's me Thank with the baseball you. bat. <sighs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Protoss103, they get such a thousand. Uh, a thousand. A hundred bits. Time for Mass Effect. But first, let's all remember Private Jenkins. Fucking Jenkins! Yes. Why? Rip him. <laughs> Rip. Rip Private <laughs> Jenkins, man. Never forget, man. He gave his life so that Monty could live. He did not. <sighs> he did. He did. Well, he's dead, isn't he? He's yeah. Well, he, yeah Clearly, he did. He, did. Oh. he gave his life for you, because that could have been you. Oh my god. Or worse, it could have been Caden. No, that would have been great. No, that would have been perfect. I, I would rather have Jenkins. Oh my lord. Well, we, we had a stream yesterday. Um, we had a Pokemon stream, a really fun Pokemon stream that I want to do again, honestly. But people have to herb up. But uh, for those who didn't, didn't catch the stream last night, uh, yesterday night we had an impromptu... Pokemon shiny hunting stream with Arkolf, Bracky briefly, Gentle Bro, Therapod, Styx, uh, Miss Tweedums, and I'm trying to, I don't want to forget anybody, but people were kind of in and out. I think that was everybody, right? Arkolf, or am I missing someone? Uh, Gentle Pharaoh, oh, Miss Tweedums, you. Bracky, me, you, Styx. Those were the ones in the yeah. stream. Yeah. People joined afterwards. Yeah, which is. Yeah, that was pretty fun. But, uh, yeah, we do fucking... Gentle Bro left, left like a fucking king. He got, what was it, 12 shinies in stream? It's worth pointing out, just chat, that after stream, I think Gentle got, like, four more shinies when we were just talking and hanging out. Four so. or five. Oh, my goodness. Shine Greymon, I guess you should show himself for t 33 months. Hey, Bosco, how was Trivia Pursuit last night, last week? All I could say is fucking Matt Mercer, man. I heard that Matt Mercer <laughs> saved the other Fucking Matt Mercer, dude. I love So number you. one, never play Trivial Pursuit with Connor. It's scary. And number uh -huh. two, fucking Matt Mercer. We played for four and a half hours and we just couldn't. Some of the Jesus. questions were absurd. And the question that ended the game was, what is the name of the original host of the hit web series Critical Role? And I remember I just screamed, fucking Matt Mercer. Yeah. You know what's and that's to how the add game on to ended. That, when you lot raided into me, People told me you were playing Trivial Pursuit and that you won Bosco. And I said, oh, yeah, Bosco's really intelligent. That doesn't surprise me. And then they told me what you won with. Yeah, <laughs> it was not. It, yeah. Yep. I had to answer that fucking question. Fucking Mercer. It's like, what is the, it's like the question was like, what color is Clifford the Big Red Dog? You're like red. And then the fucking, all the confetti flew in the air and like they started playing victory music. Like Bosco won Trivial Pursuit. Oh yeah, he's really smart. I'm he, not he answered I what color not, Clifford was. I guess on what happened, one of the questions was like, what is the tattoo mark that is represented in two of the fucking houses in Greyhawk and, or whatever? And I'm like, 
I remember five of these. I don't. <laughs> there were so many Greyhawk questions. Holy I don't know. fuck. I don't jack shit about Greyhawk. There was a Batiri battle stack question and I got it wrong. I was like, oh, I should know this because I'm running two of Annihilation. Dude, I, they, I, from and... my brain was like, what is the musical enemy that has wings and is shaped like a bird? I'm like, oh, it's not harpies. And it's like, it's harpies. It's fuck. harpies. <laughs> Doctor, like, what am I doing? Yeah. Doctor, it's harpies. I said siren. I'm like, what am I doing? Sirens that is actually that's variant. that is in D and D though. Uh, sirens are in D &D. sirens are in D and D, but I don't know why. My, my brain was like, it's not harpies. It's harpies. It's not harpies. <laughs> it's harpies. Is it because it's back harpies. in Prince Division, the harpy that Connor's character worked for was named I the Siren? Love you. Maybe, maybe my brain did that. It could have might been. have fucked with you. Percival Wiles, thank you for the. Uh, I have ice in my mouth. Uh, um. Mark, yeah, Mark and the Mark had the worst luck I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Every uh, one of his questions was like impossible. Jesus, Percival Wiles, he was switch Twitch Prime sub for five months. This is my favorite stream on the Citadel. Thank you. But yes, to answer your question, Trivial Pursuit was amazing, and I would do that again in a heartbeat. But it was uh, brutal. I'm, there I'm, was one fucking Ravenloft question. What? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Ugh. And I, Con and I had to read it to Connor. I Fuck. might have I might have known some of the Forgotten Realm stuff, but I'm I'm not that well versed in actual like. I'm gonna tell you right now, Monty. As much as I think people know about D&D. Some of the questions are just impossible. Fair it's, enough. It goes back to the 70s. Oh, yeah. I wasn't even fucking born yet. <laughs> None of us were. No one they'd have to inject that knowledge into into like me as a baby. So And the only yeah. the only reason I won was because we were like, "All right, next pie slice wins" because it was just it was taking way too long. <laughs> but Con I was I was blunt. Connor was amazing. Yeah, Connor's really good at that stuff. I really want to yeah. do uh, one of the streams. I really want to do you. Uh, was uh, basically uh, shitty prices, right? Where it's all like fucking weird ass objects, and you have to guess how much they're worth. And that like, would be amazing. I've been amassing a collection. I have, I have a bunch of little worker bees and friends who will send me just the weirdest shit, and I'm like, excellent, thank you. And then I, I have to like take a screenshot of the price and like keep it. I have like my Thank own you. server for it. Uh, I would absolutely play D and D prices Ro right. Roker Hurl. It's not D and D. It's just like random shit that's just really fucking weird. <laughs> like actual shit in the real world. Like actual prices right. Like actual. But with weird yeah. Shit. Like they're they're real items that exist. Like someone. It's either on like Amazon, Etsy, or like you know eBay or something. And so it, weird. Some of them are fucking weird. I want to look at them, but like, oh, you know what? I've got some really quick. Ow! Ow! That hurt. You're all right. No, Monty, don't hurt yourself. Let's just start the stream. Yeah, maybe I'll, I'll look it up. But I know one of them is later. like, I know one of the items is sexy Kermit sticker with sexy feet and gun. What? <laughs> I, I don't have words. And you have to guess what the price is on it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking priceless is what I would say. That there's no price you could put on that. There's some well, other ones. If it's ones. Kermit, it's gonna be free because you can commit a crime. There's so there's so many that are just and that's like one of the tamer ones too. Like there are some that are just like who the fuck made this? Like what is this? Mm -hmm. What is this for? <laughs> All right. Well, who? speaking speaking of weird objects in the future, um, here we are back in Mass Effect. I don't remember what happened last. <laughs> We were doing side quests. We were doing side quests, so we thankfully we haven't done any plot stuff yet. Cool. I need to talk to Rex, apparently. Do you? Let's do investigate and see what he says about his family, if anything. Shepard. If he doesn't say anything about his family, oh. then we can, uh... You must have family other than your father. Back. Don't you miss them? I love you! are trying to you. make me cry, Shepard. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn off Monita. I've got some unfinished business with my family. That's all. I gotta hold on before I do anything. I gotta unfortunately turn off. Get to, tell him to get to the point. It always ends well. Uh, I'm just gonna turn off alert. Sorry, I have to turn off Monita during this game because there's You're too good. much dialogue yeah, and voice point. acting. Get... No. I wanna... Get to the point. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. Grandpa. I swore to recover my family's battle armor. It was here. It is him after the uprising. Ooh. Where is it? Who has it? Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now it's in the hands of Ton Atlas. 
A Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were oh, like stolen the Museum. by people. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, he's come got on several now. bases where he stores his goods. All fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. I'll look for it. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system. But, Commander, I want to be there when you find him. Good. So long, Rex. Shepard. Cool. So you were right. We did We did have more dialogue options. Well, yeah, if you... Mm -hmm. You just got to select everything to make sure that it doesn't lead to something else. Should I talk to... Does Ashley have a side quest I should grab? Everybody does. Fucking hell. Everybody yeah. does eventually, but it never hurts to talk to everyone Commander. after every side quest. Yes. Can we talk? Can we talk How is normally a good one. What's your opinion of the last mission? Yeah. Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place. God, your eyes frighten me. Give me the option. I get the hell out Marty, of Dodge. looking deep in your soul. No, I don't. No, she's not looking deep in my soul. She's like leaning her head back, and her eyes are attracted to me. So like, it's like a seal. It's like ah, oh, I can see the white of the eyes. One sweet girl. They get so much of the tear on stuff for five months. Yes, Monty Glue. Stop. I need you to look I hate my eyes. I hate this. Stop it. But Monty. No, stop! <laughs> Legitimately stop, please. <laughs> oh, man. Can we talk? Dismissed. What? What? Ma'am. The dialogue was the, can we talk? Top there right. was Can We Talk. Oh, uh, was it? Can we talk? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Never mind, she doesn't want anything to do with you. Well. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. All right, well. Dismissed. But that's that's what triggers the next, like, thing when it's good to go. Gotcha. I will say when it comes to Garris, the human Garris, characters. Garris, 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 All right, all right, all right. Calm your jets. Calm your jets. Hold on. We did his loyalty mission, though, I think. Mm -hmm. He has dialogue up. afterwards. Yeah. Wait. Actually, I think that was the last thing we did as we hunted down. <laughs> Thank you. Literally nothing. <laughs> well, it would be worth able to talk a shot. To him again after another side quest. Probably. Uh, how are you doing, Clarence? I, I, I think he's got an every episode this man Clarence? has a different name. I don't know. Rolly Bob, thank you so much for a tier 2 sub for 66 months. How you doing, Tally? I think I, I feel like I already talked to everybody. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Uh, you talked to Tally and... Uh... Oh, you, what was you asked about her father? It wasn't easy growing up as the doctor. Uh, she had yeah, I already read this. Never allowed me to... All right. Now, so I it was just Rex. You didn't see it. What he taught me. The world doesn't want to talk about something else. Like Goodbye. See Sorry. You later. Sorry for skipping dialogue. This is not the way this this is gonna go. I just again, it's been a while since we played, so. So I'm kind of worried that you might be stuck on this floor. Why? Yeah, because the elevator was glitched. The elevator was glitched. Uh. Maybe it'll reset. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Uh, see if you can Whoa. get it. Oh, Whoa. there you go. What the cool. fuck? Yep, that did it. That did it. I'm frozen. I, I can't again. move. Uh, give it oh, a minute. Oh, fuck. Yeah, give it a second here. Uh. I think the game just fucked you. <laughs> yeah, hit escape. Uh oh. Just load. Load yeah, back go in. Go load. If there's an uh, auto save, you can just load in the auto save. This one? Yep. Uh oh, I might be trapped. Is there no stairs on this ship? What happens there if there's no an stairs. emergency? What if there's a space not, earthquake? Not to the, you're in the elevator's hall, there, so. so let's talk to Rex. Let's you gotta yeah. get that quest just again. Do, yeah, yep. Keep an eye on you, elevator. Shepard. You must family. Have family. Trying to make, you could skip all this. Yeah, trying to make me cry, Shepard. Really? With my family. Yes, yeah, kind of business, business you know, armor. Where is it? As, who is it? I was a fucking dickhead. He's gonna fucking take his shit. I'll look for it. I can't believe you're skipping I'll do it. Okay, here's the information. Okay, bye. I really wish you would, uh, if you could just, like, I don't know, maybe not skip all the dialogue. I'd really appreciate it. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Arkov. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can I just talk a bit about one of my favorite with a question mark at the end characters from from a Bioware game. Sure. Motherfucking Sten from Dragon yep. Age Origin. Yep. That Sten. surprising literally no one. I yep. listen. Okay, fucking first of all. So first of all, if you if we could have guessed, 
I would only need one. Yeah, literally. Literally. I... The character that you pine over not being able to date. Oh, fuck it. It's not only that. He's just... He's like a kid on the field. He's like, imagine the guy from like uh, the Magic School Bus. The like, who's like, man, I don't want. I want a normal field trip. Arnold. Fuck. He but, like, he is both big, buff, bald, and gray. He's not bald. He has fucking hair. Oh, does he? Yeah, he does. Why do I think he was bald? Make him bald though. That is true. <laughs> and Monty's having a crisis. Shut up. No, I'm just thinking. I'm trying to like articulate. Uh huh. Here. Sure. Leave me alone, man. I've been struggling for the past week. So... <laughs> and Sten gives me life. No, Sten does not give me life. Fucking Sten <laughs> is, like, the most, like... the fa Here's the thing. Like, you know how people like, like characters and they have to fucking defend the fucking hill they stand on? Uh-huh. If anyone was just like, yeah, but Sten's an asshole, I'm like, I would never defend it. I would be like, yeah, he is, and I don't know, like... Because, like, the thing is... I, I, how do I describe it? How do I describe it? It's like, <sighs> this is so hard to explain. <laughs> it's like, I want to like him, but he makes it so fucking hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, you're so cool and, and such a badass and totally awesome, but fuck you, I want to strangle you sometimes, you son of a bitch. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> I bet you do. Now, so he like, might be an asshole, Monty, but he does like cookies. I He does. That is very cute. And he also see, plays Monty cookies. knows that there's a soft side that he just won't let out, and she's determined to find the DLC where you see the secret side of Sten. So I... Fuck, I don't want to talk about this for the whole stream, but fucking, I'm just going to go into the space thing. So oh, you may want to check your journal first to no, determine where you, you need to go. So right. So yeah, it I, looks like we dealt with Saleon last. I played Dragon. So here's the the funny thing. You guys know the comic Manly guys doing Manly things, and I know that sounds. Yep. If you've never heard of it before, it sounds crazy. But Manly right guys do the entire thing. Yeah. Has anybody else in chat read Manly guys doing Manly things? The artist is Canadian. Apparently, is like working on like Cartoon Network shows and shit now. Like she's actually mm -hmm. like doing fucking work. Um, she also put out a story, like a Pokemon graphic novel, of Giovanni and Lieutenant Surge. It's called War Crimes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, it's, a love it's, story between the two. It's a really great comic, and that is how I first heard and learned about Sten, was through that comic. Because the early, the early comic, Sten is like a staple character in it. It's basically, if, Bosco, have you ever heard of Manly Guys Doing Manly Things? I have not. So basically the premise is that it is a comic about a uh, an agency where their job is to re like basically retrain macho like video game characters to like enter back into society like fucking Duke Nukem and like Ganondorf and stuff and make them like become regular citizens again. That's uh, actually kind of brilliant. It's really funny. Um <laughs> so Basically, Sten works at this office, and that's how I first knew about Sten. So when I played Dragon Age and I saw him, I'm like, wait, it's this guy from Manly Kinds does, you know, doing manly things. I like that that was your exposure. That's brilliant. Yeah, and so, like, immediately I'm like, I want this man to be my friend because he's cool. And then yeah, he was the... my friend. And it was a fucking fight. It was like a child hugging a cat and the cat hates you. And it's just like, no, love me. <laughs> what Please. It, what, what was I doing here? You were gonna go check side quests, maybe. Rex's oh, right. family armor. We have Rex's family armor, but we have some stuff at the Citadel we can go do. Remember, we have this. Oh so yeah, Citadel you got a sorry diplomacy. You need to. Yeah. yeah. Diplomacy. All right, so you let's hit Rex's family armor, then head back to the Citadel. Okay, that sounds good. Because uh, uh, you might find someone waiting for you there. Ar Argos Row Cluster. Argos Row Cluster. Okay. Let's so, go get them. Argos Row Cluster. Argos Rock Cluster. Argos Row. Uh, let's well, go. You have down. two choices. Hydra. Hmm. Whee. So, so I was like immediately like I want to romance Den. This guy is cool. I think he's really cool. And so fucking I. 
like, immediately, he was like, my sword is gone, I need my sword, or else I can't go back to the Kunari or whatever the fuck, and I'm like, I'm gonna find your sword. So, like, even at, like, level one, before even getting into the meat and potatoes of the fucking plotline, I'm like, I am going to find this man's sword right now. And it took me- that's basically how I charted my course through the game, was, like, trying to complete- Message coming in. What? Ah! Patching it through. Uh -oh. General distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Oh shit. Ooh, level two heat hazard. Ooh, yeah, be careful with that. Let's go. Uh, you're like, fuck it, I'm in. Fuck, fuck it, I'm gonna rescue the people. Uh, you know what, it's been a while. Let's take the boys. Let's go, boys night. But, uh, so like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get Stein is, Stein, that's my D&D &D character, Sten. That's gonna happen more than once. I was like, I'm gonna get Sten his fucking sword. And so I literally, whoa. I literally fucking beelined it to like, I think I went to like the mage area first, like the mage, mm -hmm. was it mage tower? Also, I didn't like, what was her name, Morgana? What the fuck was her name? Morgan. Morgan. I was like, fuck you, you're an asshole. And I got her out, I kicked, I replaced her with a dog. <laughs> But, uh, like, dude, I, I remember, like, three distinct, or, actually, yeah, three distinctive, no, four, four distinctive Sten moments that were just, like, I fucking hate you. The first one was, um, that yeah, we're fine, this is fine. Uh, the first one was fucking, wait, hold on, I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Uh. Oh, there's a dead guy. How do I get out again? Uh, Q. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Hurry, 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 hurry. Uh. Uh, get back in the fucking car! <laughs> nice. Dying! Cool, we got that. Uh, Debris. We'll go get this. So, fucking... I- also, spoilers for fucking Dragon Age, I guess, because I'm gonna be talking about Dragon Age shit, sorry. How could you? How old is that game? It's like, what, 30 billion years old now? First of all, how dare you? <laughs> I enjoyed that game. In I did too! Years. No, I- I uh, bought it- It came I, out in two- it was like two, 2009, 2010. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally bought that game for 50 cents on Steam. I mean, it's a steal at fifty cents. Are you yeah, that me? was that was the best fifty cents I think I ever spent on on anything in my life. Um, so, I I bought the game and I'm like, I'm gonna play this because I bought it for fifty cents. Fuck it, it might be good. And so I started playing it, and like a bunch of my friends were like, Oh my god, amazing! My one friend, Shark on Fire, who's got such a cool dude. Like he. I'm sorry, uh, his name is Shark on his Fire. His name is Shark on Fire. He's so cool. He's I've a bad shark if he's lighting himself on no, fire he's because an he should be in the water. He is an amazing shark. But the, he should be in the water, so unless there's oil or something in the water, which I, then I would be been, on the top of the water. I've been, I've been he's a love shark. I've been sworn into secrecy about his, like, fucking, like, his, like the history of his name because it's amazing. But, like, let me just say, that shit's great. Wait, I know. So, Shark boy and lava girl. Flying no, not at all. It is there not, we go. It is super obscure. You'd think that was the case, but it's not that. Oh no, I'm just bullshitting. I have no clue. <laughs> this is this this my character running while like the fucking they're melting is me in Arizona. This is exactly You've been how... to Arizona? No, but if I ever was, I feel like it'd be very similar to this. <laughs> Why Arizona though? That's such a random place to pick. Because it's so has... fucking hot. It's, there are plenty Valley? of hotter places. Eh. No, Death, Va Death Valley is in uh, Nevada, I believe. Hmm. Oh, much better. I can't remember. Woo! 
The game was like, all right, we feel bad for you here. <laughs> here's a pathetic, yeah, here's, here's a bitch baby maneuver. I swear to God, if there's a worm on this planet. You are I'm correct, gonna... it is Nevada. Although it's mostly uh, in California. I'm going to I'm gonna give you a heads up, Markov. Pronounce it Nevada. They're going to get pissed off. <laughs> no, it's not I will Nevada. continue to piss them off. It's, it's not Nevada. They don't like it. Um, Nevada, so Nevada. I it, pronounce it however. How, it's, what? Neva no, it is Nevada. I'm not joking. Like Arkansas. I, I had to... For fuck's sake. <laughs> like Tennessee. I had to learn that for broadcast school because they're like, hey, don't say this wrong or you're going to piss off the whole state. I, I met... I, I, I don't want to, like, dock somebody, but I was talking to somebody the other day and they live in New Mexico and I'm like, oh my god, that's where Gordon Freeman lives! And they're like, wow, that is the first time anyone has ever said that. Of course it'd be you two. I fucking love Gordon Freeman. Dude, I do too. He was he's been like a really good actor for decades. He saved he saved the world. <laughs> he has saved the world. He's also been God. I'm so scared that I don't like that open space. Not every open space is a thresher yeah, seriously, bomb, Monty. Monty. You need to relax. That's exactly what a thresher bomb so is. So I think there's only I think there's <laughs> only like ten thresher maws in the whole game, and there's like forty or fifty planets you can land on. So your odds are like one maybe in one in five, maybe. S see, but never zero. Right, never zero. But you can't live in fear your whole life. Yes, I can. It's, it's worked out for me so far. Hack the minerals. Thorium. Like, I kind of just want to mispronounce every state's name now. Like, Oregon could be Oregon. I don't trust this man. I don't trust this a fucking all. <laughs> so, first of all, there's That's there's right. peaks <laughs> and valleys here, so it's not going to pop out. You're fine. You, it has to be completely flat. You're fine. Yeah, Rex is saying be careful. I'm scared it's not, now. But yeah, but it, it's going to be in like a, a dueling circle. It's not going to have this like big... This is a fine. circle. This is a donut you're of fine. death. Monty, you're fine. It is Trust not me, you're fine. flat. You were fine. It's not flat. Mm -hmm. Richard Moss will fine. not attack you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Ah. That's a guess. Mine. Now, yeah, I was just saying you were worried about the wrong thing. Fuck you. Pew. It's a love that you can just run over the armatures. It's the best. Woo! Ow. Oh, right into them. Fuck you. Die. Woo! Oh! You just decapitated that one. No, he's fine. Oh no, I mean the normal Geth foot soldier you're wheeled put the head off of. Stop being alive, it's inconvenient. Yeah, stop that. You dead? How about now? Did we win? I believe so. I'm gonna go with totally. The fuck was the point of this? Was it just a trap? Yep. Eh. It straight up was a trap. You can go back to the Normandy now. <laughs> eh. Fuck. It turns out you did not choose the correct system for the armor. Oh. But hey, I got some rocks, and you know what? And you got some EXB and money. Excuse me. It's well worth the anxiety. Sure. <laughs> How do I return? F. Yes. I was trying to remember what it was, and I was pretty sure it was fuck off. Was that my memory it was so F. Galaxy map, go. Thankfully, there's only one other system in this cluster. Well, I'm not done with the planets here yet. Because we have... Scanny scan. That one, which I already... I don't need to do anything with it. Okay. Phoenix. Right? Wrong? Work. 
Oh my god, Pasole. Jesus Christ, Pasole, back with a oh. vengeance. Unfortunately, Monata is not on when we do Mass Effect, but holy shit, Probably Pasole. for the best, though. Damn, Pasole, oh, dude. look at you. Yesterday, like, Monata was I love you all stream. Oh my god. Pasole, thank you so much for the 20 subs. Holy Jesus. Cow. I do hope you're taking care of yourself, first and foremost. Yeah. yeah. Shelf, shelf money. <laughs> Vivinox sounds like a Decepticon name. It does. It really does. It does. Actually, I completely agree. Tantau. Oh. Oh, it's a place you can land. It is a place I can land. Let's go. Rex, Garrus. Let's roll out. I, never well, says, I just want the Mako to come flying out and just crash yeah. into the ground. <laughs> Unceremoniously. It's kind of like a snow planet. It's oh. a snow and ice planet. Oh, I fucking hate this. It's so flat. It's very flat. <laughs> Not every place is going to have Thresher Maws, Monty. I'm scared! I mean, you're going to find Thresher Maws and there's nothing you can do to avoid I'm them. I'm scared! They're scary. They just they make so much noise when they appear in my headphones. I don't know how Still well it translates on stream. It's the, it... the first time is the best that it was clipped. Because <laughs> we lulled her into a false sense of yeah, security. Yeah, we were like, oh, you're going to be good. Let's just keep talking. Oh, my God! <laughs> it was so <laughs> scary. Oh. Hello? Yep, it's a base. You're good. Oh. It's not a Thresher mod. It's just a base. What about that base? Base. Hello, Base. are we Lots friends? Lots of trouble. Nope. We are not. When the name says pirates, I think it's safe to assume not friends. Yeah, but they could be like One Piece pirates. That doesn't mean they're going to be your friends if you're trying oh, to get the pirates. One Piece. How do I put really my... Pirates. Okay, thank God. I, I remembered how to put my weapon away. We're, we're good. There's nothing. Because nothing. Can yes. Hi, oh, hi, Garrus. <laughs> This is the place. My armor's here somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are we so close? He was telling you his armor's here. He was telling you his armor was here. <laughs> oh, that door was really loud. I'm still so annoyed the devs were cowards and didn't let us romance Rex. Yeah. To be fair, Rex would break you and you wouldn't be able to procreate, so. I mean, it's the internet, Bosco. People are fine with that. It's true, but literally would wreck you. His name is Rex. Go, go, go! Cap beans. Bullshit. What the? Come on, that's bullshit! Ow! Monty snapping into melee. Fuck you. Monty would hate you. <laughs> Monty would hate three fighters. I magnetized rules. the fucking wall, it wouldn't let me leave. It was They're behind. They are behind you. There you go. What? Snapping into melee. Action, Monty. It's working. Snapping into melee. Fuck. It is good. It's working really well. Really well. Go, go, go. Sniping into huh? melee. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to focus when you are singing your little ditties. I mean, it'd be easier if you weren't so zoomed in you all the time what? on the Fuck you! Whoa! Right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hello. Why? Lovely spot here. I would like to have it, please. Did everyone else die downstairs? Yeah. Because I literally fucking came up here to snipe people from above. Now, yeah, how's that working? There? Yeah, there's... You also can't <laughs> snipe people from up Whoa, here. Whoa, game. I, all moving you're making stairs, fun of me for down. shooting into melee, and then I, I tried to get a vantage point, and the game's like, no. Well, they were coming up the stairs anyway. You could have shot down there if they were not coming up the stairs. Shooting into the melee. He's not melee. But he could be. He could be. Garrus. <laughs> Garrus is trying to body block you. He's Garrus. trying to protect you. Rex. Shutting 
God damn it, man. All right. You know, if I was the only one left alive and there was three people shooting at me, I'd just fucking surrender. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> shooting into melee! The fuck? Shooting into melee! Are you serious? <laughs> Monty, they had shields. What's the matter, Monty? You couldn't hit him? I shot him in the well, head. Well, rather, like I think they times. had armor. I think white is armor specifically. Yes. You need armor piercing rounds. Hello? Ooh. Ooh, bunch of shit to you, steal. Not that you'll be able to hack it. Don't fucking mind if I do. Oh, it'd be so sad if you couldn't open. It's like, yeah, you, your, your fucking hack is too low. <laughs> Don't reduce the Omnitel. This is it. I can't believe my ancestors ever wore this piece of crap, but at least I've got it back. That's great. <laughs> I'm glad we can help you get it back. I might just be starting to like you, Shepard. <gasps> Krogan are hard to read. Cool. Can you wear it, or is it just like a... Uh, yes, you can equip it to him. I want to equip it you to can. him. You can? I think you can. I Threats. don't remember being able to equip it to him. I thought he got a special armor thing because of... Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Cool. Maybe we should check. Nope. Yeah, no. Nope, never mind. I thought you could... I he thought also he got just called it a piece of crap, so... Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but I so still did, equip it to him. So did well. I don't know. We did it. We won. It only took one jump scare. Robbie, a bunch Q, of missed to, shots. <laughs> Robbie, Q, they get switched to show us up for thirty-three months. Holy smoot! It's been almost three years. You watch your fucking language. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you kiss your mother with that mouth. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? What the fuck is wrong with you? I feel like I'm missing context. I don't know. I don't know what smoot means, but it's funny. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're just... <laughs> <laughs> I, by the way, you just help me out with the, the Twitches, like the, the stuff in the... the oh yeah, Tempest, thank you for the tier one sub. Just because like, I can't scroll up, unfortunately, when I'm streaming. Raw like barbecue, this. thank you for the tier one sub, which you just got that one. Yes, Tempid Skate, thank you so much for the tier one sub for 22 months. And Pasole, oh my god, dude. Oh no, Raw Barbecue says, damn it, Bosco, I actually kind of believed you when you nicknamed him Rex. Oh, did you wonder why that was Kel's nickname? Now you know. Pasole. You know, funnily enough. Oh yeah, Pasole with 10 tier one subs, gifted the community. Damn, again, Holy Pasole. Shit. I'm worried people are going to think this is like a subscription only. with Pokemon game is this? Uh, this is Pokemon Space. Uh, this is Pokemon this is Nova Pokemon Blast. Paragon. Pa oh, God. <laughs> Pokemon Renegade is the other version. There actually is a modded version of Platinum called Renegade Platinum. Mm. Glacerius, thank you for the tier one sub. We're back what? with most of our favorite Whee! cast of characters. Never forget Jenkins. Oh, I did not just do what I think I <gasps> No, I'm in the yes, open. Yes, you and the did. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I don't Monty, want to how do you always... I would like to point out this, the physics in this game are designed to make you not flip stuff. And you flip the Mako twice already. And it's, I just can't. Listen. What are you, you see, doing? Did you see what they did to the pool? Also, funnily <laughs> enough, in regards to... Rex nickname. It's not in this version of the game because Bioware lost the source code, but there was a DLC for Mass Effect 1 called Pinnacle Station. On Pinnacle Station, there is an in NPC named Lieutenant Bryant. Yep. And there's another one, a Krogan, that. named Rex. Yep, I remember that. What, named Kel. There's a Krogan named Kel on Pinnacle Station. And we had Kel and Bryant in Mass Effect. Even though that wasn't the original reference, it would exactly. still in there. There's a funny quinky dink. Oh. Monty, you'll Wide be fine. Wide open spaces. What are the odds of the Thresher Mall right by your thing? It... Monty, just go. You'll be fine. I believe in you. There. And if you're, Yeah, you're fine. It's a pyramid. Yeah, nothing no. bad will happen at a pyramid. No, I don't. No, th listen, there's no chance of a Thresher Mall here. It's not even that flat. There's no Thresher Mama. Look at all. Look at the look at the hills. 
<laughs> Immediate save. Nothing bad you know, has I, ever happened at a pyramid. I'd kind of say we're playing devil's advocate, Bosco, but we're being the devils right now. Yeah, we're very much just flat out the devil. <laughs> it's fucking... It's usually it's Connor's job. Yeah, but Connor's not here right now, so we have to pick up the slack. Connor's got it on Wednesday. Yeah, this one's... What are you doing? Here. You should be fine. Careful. Monty, this is not even flat. Monty, you're fine. Why? I'm scared. <laughs> oh, sorry. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the matriarch's right in. I'm queen of the pyramid. Fuck you. Fuck you, flat ground. Oh. Die. Did I get everything? A hidden structure is the base you were just at. Let's go! I love you, Mountain. You'll never betray me. Um, speaking of, of mountains, so Stein. Let's go back on the subject of fucking Stein, shall we? Or okay. Stan. That'll Stand keep you rather. nice and distracted for what's coming. Getting a little confused there, Monty. Yeah, their names are similar, and I've been playing with Stein for like two years, I'm sorry. But anyway, Sten. So there were three points where Sten, I was like, I'm gonna fucking kill you, Sten. The first time was, um, so there's four instances. There was one, so do you guys remember, the, like, everyone's gonna groan. Remember the dwarf part where you had to go to the dwarven fucking kingdom and deal with that? Yes. Of, fucking that garbage? Underground and, and deal with the fucking king. And then, and, Balin. and then also, like, deal with, uh, with, like, the whole, what were they called? The, the evil enemy things? Darkspawn. 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 Yeah. So, like, we had to deal with the Darkspawn underground, too, and there was, like, a titty demon, and it was like, ah! Here. Ah, the brood mother. Yes. The yeah, brood your mother. favorite. By the way, those um, brood mothers look different depending on what race they're made from. That is oh, it's true. Just Morth brood mother. Also, Morth Randor, thank you for the hundred bits. Glad to see you back in the makeup. So, so basically, I was like, there was a lady who's like, my son has gone missing. He was in the uh, the deep underground, and I haven't seen him. If you find him, bring him home for me. And I was like, all That's, right. That story is fucked up. And then you find him, and he's like, I ate Darkspawn, and now I'm all fucked up, and I'm like Schmeagle from Lord of the Rings. Don't tell my mother I'm here. Tell her I'm dead, because, like, that's a better fate than her discovering the state I'm in right now. And I was like, you know what? That is completely reasonable, and if that is what you would like, then I, I will do that for you, man, who has suffered immediately. And so I went back to the lady, and I was like, hello, man, your, your son is dead. And I was like, you know, that's because that's what we wanted. And then fucking Sten is like, your son's alive, he's here. And I was like, Sten! Mm -hmm. He doesn't like lying. He doesn't. You fucker. Which means if, if, if he's not in your party, you can get away with that. But if he is, I like that they're like, well, you're fucked, because he doesn't like to lie. So fucking pissed at him. I was like, dude. You, you shouldn't have taken. Why would seat. you shouldn't have taken him to lie? Oh fuck my life! Uh, Good luck. Godspeed. No. Patience. Oh, you should have went quick. Oh no, Monty. Oh no, Monty. Oh no. Shush. Ooh. I'm not even gonna give you shit for this because these mini games suck ass. I mean, it depends on what they are. They're not terrible. I mean, when you're playing them with mouse and keyboard controls, they suck ass. They oh really yeah, do that suck I can believe. With, with 
with the controller, I was like, these aren't that bad. They're not bad with controller, but I've been playing through again recently on my own. I can't go through the top part. That's the thing, because if I if I tilt my mouse, it just kind of gives up. There, that's your yep. I was gonna say that's your opening. I got it. Yep. These mini games suck on mouse. They're really shit. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine. All right. That's why I don't do it. Let's return to the Normandy and talk to everybody. Got to go, Maximo. Thank you so much for the gifting five tier one subs to the community to Jules, Jules Spit Two, Awkward Napturl, Chessboard Man, Junior Moloch, and Deku Lily. God, people are like being really generous lately, which is uh, oh. people like you. It's unique. Yeah, and I don't know why, but they do. Cute. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, our call's better at complimenting you than I am. Uh, the second. It's not how you go downstairs. <laughs> I don't know. Leave me alone. I'm also scared of our broken ass elevator. Jesus, Joker, fix the elevator. Well, just save before you go down. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably have to do that. That's the first time it's glitched, though, so I'm not too worried. Mass Effect 2 plays more like a shooter, so mouse and keyboard will be fine for that. I'm talking to your favorite character. Don't give me a romance option, I swear to fucking god. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Personal crap? Not interested. By all means. I'm listening. What you want. I'm always open to my officers. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. We've got some tough calls to make. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen. Shepard, how informal. Is this a personal observation, Caden? I, uh, um, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's toes, especially if you're a, uh, if I have misread your interests. Huh? What the fuck are you talking my, about? My he is assuming you like He's assuming, Liara. yep. He's, he's assuming I like what? Liara. He's assuming you like Liara. Yeah, he thinks you're hitting on her. Oh, shit. Fuck you, that's my business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take this top my interest. All right, Alenko. Off the record, permission to speak candidly, cross my heart and hope to God. What are you talking about? Uh, Dr. Tassoni, ma'am. There's a lower deck rumor that she's uh, interested in you. It's more than a source of protein data. She's a very interesting lady. But uh, I never claimed to be big on alien culture. <laughs> wow! Enjoy this Ra minefield, Monty. R racist. <laughs> I get nervous when pretty girls say nice things to yep, me. Yep, here we go. I don't know what to do. Alpha Rabbit, thank you so much for the tier one sub. As Monty freaks out, what a conversation to walk into. Enjoy the minefield, Monty. Enjoy. Are you going to navigate this social labyrinth? Yeah. This is why, like, there's no monster I can pull out of the dungeon master guide that could ever scare Monty. However, I can absolutely make them do shit like this in a social encounter. My response. I, there's no... The, the problem with this game... This game sucks because it's missing... Uh, this should be, there should be an option right here that says pterodactyl screeching. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the second game, Monty. Yeah, just wait. Damn it. We'll get there. Are you are you upset that I'm kissing girls, Kaden? Does that upset you? <laughs> you don't like that I'm a girl kisser? You think I'm in lesbians with her? How dare you? <laughs> I don't know what to say. Make your choice. I don't know what to say. I'm drinking. What do you think your character would say? I don't Yeah, what would your character say? I wish I had pterodactyl screech! <laughs> But you're not interested in Liara, right? I don't know. She's nice. She's a nerd. And I, yeah, no. She's nice. <laughs> oh, no. Help. I, I will I say this. Nothing you say here will affect your standing with Liara. Correct. Okay. This is just Cadence issues. Just, yeah, just pick what you want. I'm just, I'm doing like that. <laughs> just put, pressing my pointer fingers together. Like, I don't know. I don't know. 
God damn it, Morse Rander is a hard question, Caden or Electrum. That's there's like two completely different fucking categories of things. For the one hundred bits, GCG Maximo. Hang out, will more gifted subs help? Lol. Oh my god. Papusa Monkey. One bits from Papusa Monkey saying you can <laughs> Alt F4 to avoid this if you really want. That is an no more games are putting in protections against that. Really? Yeah, they'll just open the escape menu. Final Fantasy XIV does that. Huh. I don't know what the fuck. It's, 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 I don't know. Fucking like, I kind of want to be like, Monty. are you, are you jealous? Do whatever you means. want. But I don't know. Like what you uh, want. Arkov, I love that she's not taking the hint. What hint? <laughs> what hint? Don't worry about it. What hint? No, say it. Pick what you want. Gotta go, yeah. Maximo. Thank you so much for the five tier one subs. You're buying. Hey, what up, Mark? How you buying, doing? You're buying me time. Thank God. Re Reaper, Sachi Kid, Strong Lad, Dora Gonverd, and Kudo Kage. Uh, Come on, Monty. You can do it. I don't know. I don't know. I hate this. I believe in you. You've Wait, got this. It's it, it will literally not affect any of your romance stuff. You, there's no pressure. Just pick one. Like that. Relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. Until I decide otherwise. All right. Only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off-duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> huh? Okay, so... To interpret, so, to interpret the male brain for you, Monty. Yeah. Okay, she's not interested in her. She's here spending time with me. That must mean she's interested in me. She's interested in me. in me, yep. That's why I was saying you're not getting the hint. I don't need this aggravation. I'm tired of this. <laughs> I don't care if you have a problem with me chatting up Liara. It's none of your business. Yes, Commander. Just had some static on my car. Yeah, and your ears and everywhere in your brain, apparently. Fuck you! How dare yeah. you! Now you got me thinking about girls! How dare you! Well, if you want, you can head into the med bay and talk to Liara. Yeah. That Actually, Liara's like better. the most... Of all of the characters, like, I know they don't specifically say it, but, like, the race as a whole are very non-binary. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah, they're monogendered. There is no... Yeah. There's not really a... Which I think is really cool. Like, I don't know if they were doing that to be more progressive or they were just like, well, this is a cool concept. But I thought it was a really cool and subtle way to, like, have that be introduced into the series. Help me. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? You want What's to know more Kaden? about Kaden? I don't know. I don't know. I'll about <laughs> uh, Gorn wants to know for 100 bits. So, Monty, is that what is like when you ask Arkov out? <laughs> Monty asked me out, she was adorably nervous. I was rattling. <laughs> I was like fucking, you know when like, like, you know when you get like a blurry image of something like moving and shaking? That was me basically. I was very nervous. Mm -hmm. And I like- Speaking With the softest voice imaginable. I was like, Ooh. Hey, um, our call. <laughs> I hate that so. you're right. I hate that you're accurate. <laughs> oh, that was actually scarily accurate. I know. It's like I've been around Monty before or something. Oh my god. I remember. And then Monty I... told me she enjoyed my puns, and I've used it against her ever since. Yeah. I was like ripping off she the enjoyed lid. them until she had to hear more of them. God damn it, I just spilled my drink. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not my Dungeons and Dragons mouse The pad. moment she told me she liked my puns, I went and fetched that SpongeBob meme. The one that says, You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> I changed it to puns. I remember. Like puns, Excellent. Don't I don't know how how. Oh, Jews! There's a lot of people in fucking in the chat are like, wait, Monty and Arkov are dating? Yeah, we've been dating. Yeah, welcome since... to the. We've been dating since November of last year, actually, but we November didn't tell. But you've all... it's it's only been public for a couple of months though. Yeah, it's only been public, but pu pu public. <laughs> oh my god! She, see, she's so flustered. It's adorable. <laughs> Shut up! We've been dating since November fourth at roughly seven p.m. 
What the fuck? Shrunk up over here, like <laughs> with a ledger of like. Actually, Monty asked me out at 7:15 p.m. in 37. Oh, she called me at 6:30. Yeah. Oh, well, excuse me, 6:30. Was that a.m. or p.m.? I think it was. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna it be. You're not up at 6:30 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> um, I remember like I think it was like for I don't know how long, like a month or two months before, I was like literally like pacing back and forth for days. Just like, what do I do with this? You want to tell people what sort of made you realize something was going on there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, we were playing 14, me and our call. And we found this area in the game that's like a secret garden area with like a table. And so, our was like, oh, let's sit down, sit down. I want to take a picture. And I was like... But I mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, me and Arkhoff are going to take a picture together. I'm like, that's, this is a kind of a romantic spot. And then Arkhoff, uh, totally legitimately shifty eyes, I'm not going to say the game, just for your own safety, um, replace his character with an NPC that I liked, and I actually was disappointed. And that made me realize, like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is very real emotion It was a right character now. that Monty greatly enjoys and gets super excited about every time he's on screen. And the fact that, like, when Arkhoff Hey, replaced, I know who this character is! When Arkhoff replaced the character, like, him with the character, I was disappointed, and that made me go, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. You got it, you got it bad when you're on the phone. Anyway, hi, Liara, how are you? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Uh, Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Oh my gosh. Morth Rander, thank you so much for gifting 10 tier 1 subs to the community. Jesus Lord. Uh, well, the funny thing is, back when I first played this, and Liara said that whole not good at dealing with people, humans especially, I'm like, same. <laughs> That's insulting! Eh, we're short-lived. We don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. That's what I love about, like, sort of, uh, written thing where it's like, humans are space orcs. Where it's just like, we're fucking insane. Cause yep. like, humans are actually nutty. Like, most, like, most animals, if you break a bone, if an animal breaks a bone, it dies of shock. Like, it just fucking dies. But, like, if a human bring, being breaks a bone, they can actually, like, recover from it, which is, like, nutty. Well, not only that, but they have the ability to process what happened to them and then take care of it. Mm-hmm. Like, humans are nutty. <laughs> like, I love written stories people have written where it's, like, and also that humans will pack bond with anything. If it's, like, a like an object, they'll pack bond with it. And, like, there's, like, this story about, like, this alien ship where there were these two aliens from the specific race, and then there were humans... And the human, they had like a cleaning robot, and the human like dressed up the cleaning robot, and they're like, "Why does it do this? Why does our human do this all the time? Like dress up our fucking machines and like gives them eyeballs and like googly eyes, like what are they doing?" <laughs> <laughs> oh man, intimidating. You're scared of us. Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is wrong. up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Me? <laughs> Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You, you, you spied on me?! <laughs> I also, uh, Babusamogi, 100, 100 bits facts. I fell about eight feet into the, uh, onto my back this week while hiding. Finished the last mile to eat a burger and then went home and I'm already feeling okay. Humans are nuts! They're crazy! Mm -hmm. I also love that in, like, uh, D&D, &D, I don't think it was really fully, I, don't, I feel like it was kind of explored, but, like, the Silver King. 
Um, actually, like, fucking, like, silver dragons in particular love humans. In particular. Like, they really like humans a lot. Because they like their personalities and the fact that they're not long-lived and that they're kind of impulsive and kind of nutty. <laughs> so they find them really, really engaging and interesting. So that's why they usually tend to have a lot of human friends specifically. And, and... Is that why Silver King was so interested in Willow? Uh, honestly, yeah, in a bit. But also because she was pretty noble. Like, you know, spoilers, by the way. And how smart of it. She did, um, but she also, like, she did the right thing. Which was, like, you know, like, what Willow had to do was pretty fucking insane. Like, she literally had to betray her family and, like, basically put her family on the chopping block to save essentially a stranger. Like, this dragon, right? And the deal that was struck was, like, okay, I'm gonna, you know, find out if this ambush is real or not. And if it's real, I'm gonna come back and raise this place to the ground. And then, like, you're gonna be queen, basically was his plan. He's like, you're gonna become queen. And so, of course, Ambush was real. He came back, raised everything to the ground, and Willow was gone. She fucking dipped the moment she got a chance because she's like, I don't want that. I want to leave. So that's why he was pretty impressed with her because it was also like sort of that trait where it's just like, you know, oh, you're telling me this so you can come into power, right? Like, you, you'll you come into power now. Like, it's and a power she play. Left showing she didn't want it. But she left, which showed that she actually had a noble purpose. Like, she genuinely wanted to, like, do the right thing. Which made her more, I guess, attractive, but, like, not in a romantic way, but, like, more attractive as a person, in a way. Like, she literally left with, like, a huge group of people who were, like, abandoning Elmer at the time. So, yeah, she traveled for a very long time. Poor kid. And she found Doros. She did. She actually had a love interest before, though. Like she actually met somebody and, and had a had a relationship with them. But it was more like a, it wasn't like a serious relationship. It was more like, wow, everything's awful. We need something nice. And so they dated, and then they they parted ways. So yeah, Willow was way more outgoing than Doros in that that instance. But you could have asked me. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I kind of like I her. I to know more about you. <laughs> to understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Unacceptable! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you're super quiet again, Bosco. What? Yeah. You're super quiet again. Check your settings. We've lost him, Captain. That's so weird. Oh, there you go. You're Much back better. now. That time I think it was the cord. Yeah, you're actually... We, so you're, we're good. There's a static sound coming from you. It's light. It's very gentle, but it is there. Let me see. Let me check it. Keep going. I can listen. Okay. Me or the you're beacon. interested in me because of my visions. Whoa, whoa, whoa! More about the Protheans. Well, that's so mean! I admit. No! I did not mean to glass him! ...had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my... Holy fate. shit, Kaiden. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Alenko. <laughs> what is this option? That's okay, we back. They put that in just to satisfy those who... They put that in to satisfy bigots. Oh, Basically. That sucks. I will say this. If you wish to pursue Liara, middle option. Yep. You basically have to say that you're not interested. Otherwise, she assumes that you're interested. Caden special is like... Caden special is I'm going to date Caden. That's private is I don't want to reveal anything. So Liara is going to shut down. It's not serious, says, I'm not going after Caden. The Liara one stays open. Uh, this is the greatest. I'm going to fight the final boss. I mean, nothing compared to these fucking conversations we're having right now. <laughs> well, I mean, you, one could argue that the bosses are easy. Navigating social situations is terrifying. I just oh stare at the... I, I look directly at the camera and say, I want to go back to war. Oh. <laughs> uh, you want me to go for Garrus, though? 
Garrus I mean, isn't in this game. game. Yeah. yeah. You, but you'd have to basically dump Liara. That's mean. I don't want to dump Liara. Now, here's the other thing. You don't have to go for Garrus. If you're like, I'm into Liara and I want to go Liara th for three games in a row, do it. It's your character. Yeah. Because I w there's some Garrus will be okay. I will say this. Mass Effect is also like you, Monty. The NPCs you don't get with do their own thing and have their own lives. I feel yep. like I feel like Gaius, my friend in real life, is going to kill me if I don't take Garrus. <laughs> well, this is your character, your game. Exactly. I would kill you in real life if I had the choice and you didn't do it. But it's your choice. If you like Liara, go for Liara. I don't know yeah. if I like Liara. This is not enough information to go off of. Then well, I'd say gonna... it's not serious would be leaving the door open. Yeah, you're not, it doesn't commit you. It just leaves the door open. Okay. Trust me, there will be a very specific point in the game where it's where you, you know. have the choice. Ah. Uh, Romance or not, and you can shut it down at any point. Someone needs to make a mod where, like, so there's just, like, extra... With all these conversations, there's an extra fucking option, and it's just fucking someone just screaming, like... Ah! Like, just shrieking, and it just ends the conversation immediately. Oh, man. Goblin. Yeah. I love social interactions. It's I feel not like serious. To be even. Are just friends. Nothing more. I'm putting him My in that mistake, zone. Then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. Yeah, same here, bitch. All right. Is that a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that? I am attracted to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, now here's where you here's here's where you have to make your choice. Fucking! I thought we would have like maybe another mission. I didn't realize it would be immediate. Bioware's not exactly good about letting things be drawn out. Yeah. I will say this. If you choose I'm attracted to you, it's kind of like early stages dating. You're not locked in. Like I said, there will be a point later on in the game where you can lock where it you, in you can or back you can out shoot it. it down. Yep. <sighs> and you just said I kind of like you, so... I mean, I... Yeah, well, I talking to Caden, you did say, kind of like Liara. I do kind of like She's cute, her. and she's a nerd. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sitting here. <laughs> so we're not going to get anything done today, because this is the fucking So, Arkov, I have to rewrite Ravenloft for next year. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I need... I need some music I... to, like, fit the, the current fucking situation. Oh, my God. It's like Monty looking into a mirror and deciding if she loves herself. Yeah. <laughs> so good. There we go. Hold on. <laughs> Bloodborne music? I don't hear shit. <laughs> it's on the stream. Oh. Saw what the last neutral option did. <laughs> this is very true. <laughs> Everyone chats like, look into yourself, find your truth. Find it, Monty. However, <laughs> Canadian reacts when they can't just say sorry after everything. Under bitch from Papusa Monkey. <laughs> Bitch from Alpha Rabbit saying, Sha la 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 la, don't be shy. <laughs> I will say this if you're interested in the R at all. You 
the way to open that door is the top of the If you choose I just want to be friends or you're wrong, it's just the door. No, that makes it so much worse! <laughs> it's not the final choice because even if you choose I'm attracted to you now, like I said, that's just what the state of dating, like you're dating his friends. <laughs> and you can later on in the game shut it down completely if it's not to your liking. But I don't want to be mean! Be louder! The music's too dramatic! What? I couldn't hear what you said, Arkov. What did you say? <laughs> top option is... Top option is state. Middle option's neutral. There's no way to know what tone it's going to be. Assume it's... polite. And bottom is... Shut it down. How dare you? How can you be so fucking stupid? How do you even think that? Oh my god. That's so mean. Uh... Can I say I'm attracted to you, but we could just still be friends? I mean, like I said, later on in the game, if you but don't want to date Miara, you can just I, shut her down. I don't want to dump her. I don't want to be like, I like it's you, not but... not so much you You're dumping, not dumping her. her. Yeah. There is a moment later in the game where Liara will approach you, and you can say yes or no. That's all it amounts to. Okay. What do you want to say? I, I, I think she's pretty. So say you're attracted for to her. it. Do it. I'm scared. Okay, I'm listening. I'm a little scared you're after good. like hearing what can happen in like Dragon Age Inquisition if you like Iron Bull. This Monty, Liara is, sorry, Liara you're not is built not, like Iron it, Bull. It, yeah, it's Fair not enough. Iron Bull at Fair all. enough. Cool. It's not even close. Ah! No, you were right. There is we are gal pals. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? Because I'm cool. We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. It doesn't have to. Don't analyze well, it does this. Not make sense. <laughs> we have one thing in common. <laughs> they just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic. Okay, listen. So no. dangerous. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, protect you. Uh, uh, you can love chaotic and dangerous, Monty. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Monty, get back to the danger. I'm turning into a husk and blowing away <laughs> like dust. <laughs> How do I fucking pick here? God, every conversational tree just becomes more intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Gaius is here. My friend is. Oh really hey, Gaius is here. here. So wait. So now that Gaius is here, are you going to tell him that you've decided not to date Garrus? I no, I'm not. I, that's not. Tell that them. Has, tell them no, the truth. No, I have not told them. That's not the plan. I'm just listen. I just don't want to be mean. I'm so scared. Multiple doors are open right now. How do I tell them the truth? You have abandoned Garrus. I'm not abandoned Garrus. All right. I'm just listen. Thank you for giving a tear. <laughs> Gaius, is Gaius. Like, Gaius is like listen. <laughs> also, Ma Masamune, thank you for giving a tear. One sub to Gaius Ghost Paws. There are two no. choices, is what Gaius, Gaius says. Is... There are two choices, Gaius and the wrong choice. This one is just giving you sort of a flavor. This is flavor text. Like, are you saying you'll protect Liara? As if you'll protect her from shit going wrong? Are you asking her for, if she's scared and you're commiserate with her? Like it's scary? Or are you saying it's chaotic, it's dangerous, and that's why it's fun? Oh, man. So are you protective? I'm waiting for Gaius. Dating the chaotic. sweetest individual in the universe or not Garrus? It's true. Gaius, <laughs> I'm with Gaius. Garrus is amazing. Oh my god. I finally found it. Something scarier than the fucking Thresher Moss. It's true. Social interaction. Listen, I'll pick Are You Scared? Because I, I'm... Don't tell me a little danger. Okay, that is not the tone this I was going for. I am not used to. This. You. I need some time. You started it! <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> I like that there. Can I choose this? This is great! You can! I yeah. mean, go for it. This up. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. But I did not think it would get so. Let's just talk about something else. Is this what it's like when you're having to deal with me, Monty? Yes! Because I know you were yes! not expecting. Yes! Yep, this is. Yep. <laughs> 
Ga Gaius is like, Monty, are you scared? Shepard, hey, baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, Monty like was not Booyah. prepared to unlock the secret third side. <laughs> I, I love it. Like to boogie, thank you for the 100 bits. Man, that romance was intense. Let's go to war and shoot something to calm down. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> like, I am warm right now. <laughs> I can't. It's so good. Everyone's like, why are you so freaked out? This stuff makes, when people are like, I like you, I um, my brain immediately goes, ah! I just start screaming, and I'm like, ah, I see. But you see, Monty, that's not really a problem because I don't like you. I love you. Ooh. Hey, man. Uh, listen. Listen. Commander, I. What can I do for you? What does it matter? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn. Speaking hands. of the best boy. God damn it. Sorry. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. Getting away from everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do. This makes this. Do why did I talk to him immediately after what I just did? <laughs> because you needed a break. Are you worried? You also felt guilty that you're betraying Gaius. They'll never sure forgive you. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Also, guys says, ha ha ha, that's gay. Approving. Can I ask you something, Commander? Yeah, of course. What is it? Are you single? Are you Fucking... worried that <laughs> Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Last resort. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. Use your head. I, I see where he's coming from, that he really wants to see, like, Saren go down, but... We know more about Saren's plans than anyone, but what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not, but it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, my God. The best boy. Commander? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, dude, how you doing? Shepard. Uh, so you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. So? Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. You could be. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. Mmm, new 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 tree. How long yeah. have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very 
small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. Hmm. So long, Rex. Shepard. <laughs> Shepard. You can ask him about his family again. Oh, Might yes. say something about the armor. Yeah, that's a good point. Sure. I love that his head looks like flames, like from a distance. You must have family right. other than your father. No. Now that I have my family's armor again, there's nothing left for me. Mm. There you go. So long, Rex. Shepard. Wait, speak oh. to him again? That's right. Okay, good. Yeah, well, just one more time. Shepard. Rex. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that's what you wanted. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn. Bastards. So when are we doing Prince Division again so that we can do that and you understand now? In person one day. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? Rex. Sharon, I mean. What? Shepard. We're nowhere close. Rex. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I also, go back if Garrus is best people, boy, this is best girl. Be proud to say Agreed. I was a part of it. I like Talia a lot. Yeah. So, oh, Monty, I can tell you this because it'll freak you out. I was in a class with them, Tali. Oh, Tali's voice actor? Yeah, because we were doing the class. I'm like, I recognize your name. Then they did their first read. And I was like, ah, American Tali. This is weird, but I know who you are. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. It was fun. Oh, yeah. Saren's still got a couple more surprises waiting for us. Yeah, Tali is really cute. Too, but I know you can handle whatever he throws at us. And I'll be right here if you need my help. Uh, I already knew that. All right, we're good. Yep, nothing new. Mm -hmm. right, goodbye. I should go. See you later. Uh, we have bits that I missed, I noticed. There's quite a wall. Sorry, I was listening to uh, that. I might have missed. Let's see. We've got uh, GTG Maximo with 100 bits. Throw Spacist Ashley out the airlock. Uh, we've got Stellar Coyote with 100 bits. We need Sarah Williams over the top cackling on the soundboard <laughs> just for the times when Monty's embarrassed. Uh, we've got Alpha Rabbit with 100 bits. When did this turn into a love triangle anime? And Maximo again with 100 bits. He needs to finish some calibrations. What if you just like romantically went for everybody at the same fucking time? That'd be so funny. Eventually, it locks you out. Fuck. Also, yeah. 100 bears from Pupusa Monkey saying Monty is going to go slay 100 bears to get over the ordeal of her emotions today. <laughs> and the Taubs with a tier one sub just saying, Shepard. Where? And then five bits from uh, Callum Draw saying Mass Effect High School Host Club. Oh my god. Truth kiss, though. Kiss, fall, I believe yeah. you're heading to the Citadel next. Yes. Because you have that side quest. Oh, I have this it. one, Novaria? That's a main quest. That's, that's a, a main, huge main quest, that's yeah. That's a huge main quest. Okay, we have Race Against Time. That's the mainest main quest. And yep. then we have Vermeer. That's the point of yep. no return. I would say Novaria which should be your next main thing that you do, because it's okay. like a side thing, but it's still big for the story. Let's, let's go to the Citadel, because I have... I would do Citadel, do all of your side quests, and then go to Novaria. All right, let's go to the Citadel. Oh my god, dude, I... Jesus. <laughs> You're so gassed. You're like, I gotta go to bed again. Yeah. <laughs> also, it... it... If you want, if you ever just want to protect yourself, you can always save before you have a conversation with a character. And then if you're like, oh, I picked the wrong dialogue tree, you just reload. Yep. That way it takes a lot of the pressure off. You're like, well, if I don't do this right, I can't go back. Fair enough. If it's too stressful to just do it the way we just did, I don't want you to actually have like heart palpitations over Liara. Cool people, make me nervous. That's how I know I'm lame. Who dares boost up? Did I ever tell you, Bosco, that when I worked at the pet store, I had high school girls ask for my number because they thought I was a boy? Huh. Yeah. I, 
Did you wear your hair differently then? I had like my same short hair, but I, I, the uniform we wore was very masculine, and like my voice okay. is lower, right? So people, like, right? People are like, oh. I, I could, I could see it if you had more of like a short, really short cut. But like when, I, when you came to LA the first time, like your hair wasn't insanely short. Like I wouldn't go, ah, skater boy. Yeah, and so like these girls were like, I was working, and I was at the time I was like, seventeen maybe. And, like, it was, like, late. It was a Friday night. No one was there. And these girls came in, and I was like, you know me, I'm funny. And, like, I'd crack jokes, and I was uh -huh. showing the animals. And I was like, oh, da ba boop ba bop boop And they're like, ha you're so funny. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, can we have your number? And I'm just like, oh, sure. I, I'm not used to girls exchanging numbers. They're like, wait, you're a girl? I'm like, yes. And they, they screamed and literally physically ran away. They, like, literally <laughs> turned and ran out the door. What and I was... the fuck? <laughs> Cowards. Yeah, I was what? like. Uh, Come on, girls. <laughs> I used to feel self-conscious about it, but then I'm like, hell yeah, I'm sexy. <laughs> yeah, it's You're like I'm beautiful attracted and to amazing, women. Sweet <laughs> I, t I thought I told you that, Gaius. Did I tell you that? Because me and Gaius worked at the same pet store. But, like, Gaius came in later That's on. even better. But it was, like, I was 17, and they were, like, they were from, Gaius, I'm pretty sure they were from, like, our school, too, that we went to. Because it's, like, in the area, right? See, but what they... Gaius hasn't told you, though, is that all of the boys would come in and ask for their numbers. So, you know, it, it evens out. <laughs> oh, my God. That was the one time that happened. It was like, <laughs> they were like, ah, and they all turned and ran. <laughs> and I was like, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. They hit me in the back. With the... Yeah, they did. You were in the fucking cave. The reptiles and the fish? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> We're taking both of them. I'll take, you know what? Here we go. We're going to try you guys out. We're going to see which one of you is more Monty material. Sonic Dantius is in the embassy bar. Got it. But the gay ladies come back. <laughs> uh, Although while you're on the Citadel, you should also visit the markets down in the ward. Yeah, we should. Someone may be there Sometimes waiting for you. Sometimes I envy your biotic abilities, Doctor. But then all your people have such skill. While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. Of course, I intended no disrespect to the effort you have put into your training. Pardon me. That's just an awkward conversation. <laughs> yeah, but but Garrus is always like, yeah, my bad. Sorry, I'm backing down. My apologies. I respect that about him. When he's wrong or feels he's offended, he says he's sorry. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. Remember that name? A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the oh, Alliance. Oh, right. The guy. The, the body. The body. Yep. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. I love that this game does that. Like it's world building. It's world building while the game loads, and it's like, that's perfect. Excellent. I, that didn't feel like a loading screen, but it was. Oh, dude, you remember when fucking Ashley was racist right here? Memories. Uh, yes, I do, actually. I remember. The animals and the I think it was I think it was clipped because I was like, no, I had dude, a someone, chance. She just... Someone did, like, an edited version of it. It was so cool. They actually, like, put, like, text over, and it was, like, it had effects on it. It was such a cool edit. Yep. I just... I just want Ashley's story to be uncovered, okay? <laughs> I feel like It'd I'm be the easier only to person uncover that's... if she wasn't so. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Inescapably racist. Yep. I know it's like C sec, but every time I see it, I think of like C section, and it's like not. Yeah, security. I feel I I feel like I'm the only person that actually did the Ashley Williams like dating track no, outside God, of the people did. who played it. Like I did every option. Well, no, but I was gonna say outside of the people who played the game seven times to do everything. Seven. Like, I don't think anybody was like, yeah, I'm gonna start with Ashley and roll with Ashley. They were like, no, literally anybody else. Hello, I am back. We have Shepherd? news. Did you find my sister? Did she lie to me? I don't remember. Yes. She wanted you yep, to find she... her missing sister. Her sister was a fucking bandit lord. Yep. Oh. Dahlia's dead. 
I killed her myself. If you don't want to end up like her, start talking. Oh, damn. No need to raise your voice, Commander. Surely you can understand why I lied to you. Don't lie to me. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance or place me on administrative leave until she's just tell me. That is why I, I wonder. Misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. But now that Dahlia is out of the picture, it's no longer a problem. I don't like being used. Well, there you go. I would have helped if you just told me. Yeah, the truth. that's exactly what I just Perhaps said. You're right. I am sorry. We have trust issues in my family. Yeah, I noticed. Obviously. Oh yeah! This I like Liara more. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure this is Gray Delisle. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfied. Because I can hear. Oh, you have a renegade option available. Yeah, you do. Oh. How mad are you? It's up you? to you. Yeah, it's up to you how mad oh, you are. Fuck. Are you noble mad or are you mad mad? I'm noble mad. All right. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits, but I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of money. Good choice. Good also, I just money. looked it up. I looked it up. It is great, Alyle. So your I next stop that's... is the ward markets. Markets, okay. You can access it from the fast travel point. Don't if you believe the rumors. Consort would never reveal her secrets. Oh yeah, enjoy this one. Of course you would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's, she's. Wait, is that is that hand lady? You just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. I go talk to him. Are they talking? Yeah. Wait, I are they talking about hand lady? Go the lady that him. put her hand on your face? Yes. Yes. Yes, they're absolutely talking about. Are the you talking about person. hand lady? Oh, commander. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I. uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as that she helps people with things. Things. You never went to see her, did you? I, uh, no, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Talked a big fucking game about mm -hmm. knowing all this shit and never can you actually at least tell talk me where to I can her. Find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Cool. Oh, you just called him out in front of his friends. Yep. His street cred is destroyed. Is? Yeah. Okay. What? Just went for a little jog. Oh, yeah. Well, there's a keeper out this door. I never got this one. This is true. I think it's the last one. Is it? Nope. I, I was wrong. Know. How do I I thought you only had one more. It's in your journal. Um... It'd be under assignments. Yeah. You still have more because it's still orange. Yeah, scan the keepers. It should tell you I'm how many. I'm missing though. one. You're one. You're one away. All right, I'll look up the keeper locations because at this point you should just have them all. Yep. It's probably like in some niche area that I haven't seen. Or we might have just walked past it and didn't scan them. That, that happens too. sometimes. Uh, let's see. There's three keepers. Oh, there's four keepers inside Citadel Tower. I think we got them all, though, because there's two. Of, I know there's at least two by where the council is, and we got all those. Oh, oh, there yep. he is. That's the last one. There's the oh, last there one. Go. There it is. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Woo! Let's yeah. Go. Now you got to find that dude and give him the data. Well, the data goes through them automatically. Oh, is it over then? Is that the last hit? I th Hi. That that's the last of it. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I love you. I would like to let you know you have pretty face. Such large hands, so easy to hold. 
No, I said, is it over then? With flirtatious intent, you are pretty neat, and I like you. I would like to get to know you better. Please step into my office. Ah, that one sounded a bit creepy. I apologize. Oh. The fast transports are the orange terminals, like what was yep. up above. You can always hoof it. You never know what you'll find just walking around. Hoof, 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 hoof. Fair. Where am I going? The markets? Yep, ward markets. Markets. The markets. markets. Here's your jelly friend. Hi, jelly friend. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. All by Shep. This is like voiced by Mel Shep, too, right? Mel Shep all does the all of the Hanar. Yep. Nart Hoda. It's really surreal just talking to them as Mel Shepard. Because <laughs> uh, he doesn't change his voice, they just put an effect on it. Erwin mm -hmm. L, thank you so much for Twitch Prime Sub for 27 months. Thank you so much. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct yeah! Hamlet with Elcor cast members. Yeah. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. I'd love to see that. Uh, Oh, I'm here. Okay. What do you say we head down to Cora's den after shift? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for a Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. Apparently, they've got a huge demand for corporate security. Oh. Novaria? Isn't that the frozen planet? Yeah. Ugh, I wouldn't go, but I guess the pay's pretty good. Huh. Hmm. Went to Canada. Soon I will go to Canada too. And all she did was Canada. die. Also, I'm incredibly sorry, but I gotta use the bathroom real fast, so. Well, Why are you I, sorry about using the restroom? I will be right back. I also need to keep my cats. Oh, right, Canadian. I, I right. I forgot. I will be right back. Entertain chat. Chat. Hello, chat. Be on your best behavior. Hello, Hi, chat. I haven't done that in ages. I know. That's why I did it. I was like, come on, Arkoff. Do the thing. Greetings and salutations. Yo, dog, what's up? Yo, peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that Monty scream from the bathroom. No! <laughs> Yo, what's happening, cool kids? It's Eddie B and AC here on the ones and twos. We're spinning the greatest hits of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Is it AC because I'm pretty cool? It is. E. He. It's also the first, first couple letters of your name is ARC, so. Tell me, do you know where my moniker comes from? I don't. I'm just going to say... Elementary and middle school me was a genius because no one ever figures it out till I mention it. I mean, is it there, is I a assume... combination of the words Arctic Wolf. So literally just I... Ark, then Wolf. Yeah, but to be fair, it's really hard to figure out two words that you splice together. But that does make sense considering your aesthetic. The Vikings mm. and all that. I like snow also, and somebody... I like wolves. I mean, yes, wolves are also my favorite animal. So good tastes. Guys, people can like animals without being a furry. He's allowed to like wolves. Wolves are pretty lit. See? There you go. 
Also, Manny, thank you for the 100 bits. Bosco and Arkov, do either of you know the money trick to be rich in this game? I use it all the time when I play. I do not I know the know. money trick. I don't know the glitches offhand. I'm going to make Arkov a persona, and that is a threat. Wow. Okay, then. I'm back. Well, <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back. Jesus, that's a way to come back. <laughs> thank you very much for the 100 bits. GGG Maximo. <laughs> Not true. This is the internet. Uh, you are subject to the rules. True. Where the fuck am I going? Uh, what subquest are we doing? Going to the marketplace. Yep, we're heading ah. to the market because someone might be there waiting. Poor K. Presidium Ward? Is that where I need to go? No. Go down this elevator. This one? Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Hmm. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In Such a rare shame. admission so of well debt, butter. several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victory. Well, everything the is a crab, Monty. Made possible. Oh no, you did just go back to the Presidium. I didn't realize you'd gotten turned around. Oh well, there's a quick it. transit to the right here. Ah. I did not realize you'd got turned around. Help! That's left, Monty. It's to the right. Monty. What? Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Stop! <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> Turn directly around. 180. Slightly to the right. Where there was only silence, the Look to the right of Garrus. Yeah, go in there. See that orange terminal? This very is oh. of the that will take you to the market. <laughs> yeah. I love that every time I tell you to turn right, you turn left without fail. Yeah, it, Monty's not good with directions. Shut up. <laughs> She doesn't drive so much as just like do like circles until someone tells her to go a different way. Huh, he's not here. Are you looking for Conrad? Yeah. I thought he was right I now. thought we were done with him. Nope. Oh, no, but I mean like he don't we run into him somewhere else that's not here? Pretty sure it's always here. Is it always here? I thought it was somewhere else. We'll make sure to check every nook and cranny before the end. Oh, yeah. Jetwave brings up a good point. Uh, are your headphones on correctly? I'm not going to lie to you. I always check now. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since. I'm missing some context. Oh. Okay. So we were playing The Village, which is Resident Evil 8. And the whole game, Monty's like, this game's really weird. Something's wrong with my settings. I was like, what's wrong? Well, I keep hearing sounds, but like. They sound like they're on the left, but they're coming from the right, and I don't know what's going on. I'm like, did you check Whoa. this, 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 and this? And so we go through the whole game, and we get to the very end when we're ending the stream, because I was like, hey, check your headphones. Your headphones aren't right. Are they anything? She go, at the end of the stream, she goes, hey, Bosco. Yeah. So my headphones were on backwards. And I just died. I just died. I had a feeling you were coming here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, here's your hack. Okay. Was it 20? I don't understand. Yeah. I need you to lose. 21 just so that is I know the this highest payout. 21 is the highest. I need you to lose just so that I know this is, I swear to God. <laughs> God damn it. Every time. I don't understand. <laughs> I love blackjack. I love blackjack too, but it is completely random. And the fact that you just... I don't understand. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. See? Like. <laughs> like. God damn it. Hmm. Come on. Oh, it's giving me lower numbers this time. It is. Oh, here's where it gets interesting. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god! Oh, god damn it. 
<laughs> Every time, never goes over. Like, I need two. Gets two. <laughs> Here's your money hack. Unfucking real. <laughs> this is not real. Like, it's the exact number so that she's never in danger and having to be like, it's 16. Do I hit? <laughs> I never win this damn game. I've won the game, but I've never had a hot streak like this. Oh, this is interesting. I got three ones in a row. Three ones and a three. Mm. Ooh. Every, the lowest <laughs> number possible. How? How? <laughs> I don't understand. We need to take this Monty is to Vegas. I seriously, this is insane. Play the high stakes one. I am. Oh, this is the high stakes one? Yeah. This is the high stakes one. This is the high stakes machine. Yeah, RNG just loves Monty in this game. I just need to see her lose one so that I know it's not rigged. But it doesn't happen! 18 ever! <laughs> <laughs> the lowest that like just let's just make sure she gets in there real quick. At this point the <laughs> casino would throw Monty out. Yeah, they really would. What like she, I don't know if she's hit an eight unless she exactly needed eight on <laughs> a, a fucking eighteen again. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing until I lose. We're gonna We're be here, here for a while. while. <laughs> I'm gonna grab All some right, chips. guys, that's a great time to use the bathroom. There you go. Like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got chips. I'm settled in now. Yep. Come <laughs> he's plugged into the fucking matrix. She fucking is. Cause now, like, where's the 16? Like, yeah, and then you hit four and seven, cause you can't lose. Hell yeah. Unfucking real. Ooh. Oh, here's where it gets interesting. Yeah, ten is interesting. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Oh, what this do we could, do? This could be it. This could be it. Nope. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Unfucking believable. <laughs> Literally had what you had an eight? Was that a seventeen? I had a sixteen. So you got the only number you could get, four or five. Ooh. Hmm. Oh! I think, I think this might be the one. You could also pay it out now. You can seventeen. You can leave. No, I gotta win or lose. That's the that's the thing here. If you, I swear to God, if you get one through four, it's if I do I lose all the money I've made this far? No, you just lose for this game. Oh. Finally. Fuck, I just needed to see it happen. <laughs> I think it's the first the time. The streak ever, is dead. I've ever that's seen insane. I think that's the first time I ever lost. That is the first time you've ever lost, and I don't so understand. Uh-huh. But this is Hilarion. I don't know. This want is to. the cheater guy, remember? That's the cheater guy. No 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 no. It'll turn out good. Speak with him. Yeah. What the fuck is Garrus? He's gambling. Don't worry about it. He's gambling. He's gone now. Ah, change your mind? You gonna help me record those wins? How will that work? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Let me do it. Yeah, here Trust we go. Me. Yeah, it's gonna ah. be good. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, no. off you go. Go upstairs? Yeah. All the way upstairs. All the way upstairs. And you'll see a Volus at the far end. See him? Yep, him. Speak Talk to him. him in the back right. He's the proprietor of this place, and you can he hand sure over that device. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Payment. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. 
Take a few shots at the quasar on the house. On the house, you say? I should be going. Yeah. Enjoy your time here at Flux. You have a couple of free shots on the quasar. See, oh, yeah. they give you a credit bonus. That's the fun thing about that quest. It starts off as objectively bad, but then you can just turn in the device and get a good ending. Yep. I helped him out, absolutely. Oh. Ah. <laughs> last, last one. And this is where Monty hits the. Oh my God! Please. For fuck's sake. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? For fuck's wow. sake! Wow. <laughs> I mean, you're this still is some roll twenty the... luck now. This is insane. How many ones? There we go. Oh my God! <laughs> I can't. One more, one more to balance it out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. A. Dun dun dun. All right, I, I came out positive. We're good. Uh, look behind you. What? Or wall? Huh? Oh, dude, he's partying. Yeah. Look at him. He's partying. Yeah. What? Uh, go to the far wall. You should see something that says suspicious. Uh, machine. Suspicious machine? Right there, on the right. It should be up against the wall. Mm hmm. Oh, this one. That one. No, no, in the back. One by the keeper. This one. I yep, interact. This machine has been tampered with, and someone is oh. following credits to a private account. I will attempt to trace the signal. God, she hacks and everything. Yep. Paris. Dude, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, if you go to your assignments, it should there's something in there. Yep. Uh, is this guy gonna? Get, this guy's gonna get pissed at me, isn't he? He sure he can't is. Can't do shit to you. Do I talk to him? Yeah. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? Oh yeah. Let's go. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I gonna do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Suck to suck, don't it, fuck boy? <laughs> yep. Cheat. Cheaters never prosper when they're caught. Now, if I remember correctly, go down these stairs and take a left. I'm impressed you remember this so well, but Whoa. I guess you did play it seven times. Left again? Also, I haven't saved in a while. I'm gonna save real fast. Smart. Yeah, save would be wise. Yes, you are so smart. You're gonna you take are left so smart. through that door. SMRT. SMRT. Yep, then go straight ahead. Take the elevator. Elevator, elevator, please go up. Elevator, elevator, please go up. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the council has reported shooting into the melee. Status of one of its Listen. Operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a council spokesman could Hey man, don't don't hit me because it's catchy. Have been taken. To be fair, there's a feat that gets rid of penalty for that. It's true. Oh, that reminds Sharpshooter. Uh... Hey, you got upgrades. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. You don't, but Liara did. Good for her. Where am I going? <laughs> Go up ahead and take a right. Should be something on the far wall. Yep, signal source. Ah, yes. Oh. Our quarry has employed a hidden relay to redirect their signal. I shall trace the new signal. God, you're so... Now you need to head to the financial district. I think Liara is the only one that can do this when she's in your party. Uh, Tally Oh, no, Tali, Tali can. Garris also do it. Yeah. Where, where am I going? Go up. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Can I, speak? Can I skip? Stock. We've heard this before. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Once you get to the top here, just head straight across. Do, 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 do. God, I always forget how like actually, actually big the citadel is. 
It's not just a space station. It's like a massive. Me it's a mega city. When you get up here, take a left and head to the Hanar Emporium. To take a take a left, take a, le a, right? a left, take a left. That's a left. That's a left. And now it's Monty. A right. I really worry about your left-right <laughs> directions. I really do. Listen. There will be a doorway on the far wall. Which is now a right. And now you take another right. And congratulations, you found the signal source. Did I? There's nothing here. Uh, hit J. Like that. The top one? Yeah. Oh. I'm in the presidium. I'm in the presidium. This should be it. There's, there's an exclamation point. Oh, okay. Uh, head right. I go outside and head immediately left. I skipped a step. You have to go uh, first. Yeah. Wait, it's you! Oh well, no, on the far behind him, should be. Yeah, behind him. Okay. Liara wasn't with you, so she can't say her line. Oh. Yep. Where is she? That is a good question. Hit C. You're alone. Well, here we go. I wasn't I aware guess. there was a way to crouch. Where, uh, where is Liara? Liara? Is she still back there in the Emporium? I don't know. Well, that's where you need to go anyway, so. I don't see her icon on the map. Should I save and reload? Die? Yeah, save and reload just to be safe. I've never had someone just vanish like that. She didn't survive the trip, Jesus. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Also, I don't want to talk about driving. I actually did a bad thing driving today, and I feel really bad about it. What'd you do? We I accidentally ran a red light because someone was tailgating me, and like I didn't feel safe to stop. Well, that's stop. the safe option. <laughs> oh but yeah, you still don't ran feel a bad. Red light. I was like, because I was, it was a yellow, and it was up a hill, so I couldn't see how much road I had left. And I'm like, if I hit my brakes right now, this guy's gonna hit my car. And so like, you I made just, the right I, call. I sped you made up. Made the right call. And like, and then I went through a red light, and I was like, fuck my life! I just went through a red light. I'm like I should have. You made down the sooner. correct call because if someone was tailgating you, it would have been an accident. And if somebody would have hit your car, it would have been way more dangerous than if you run that red light. Yeah, right. I still feel when bad. When driving, you, driving, you sometimes have to play a little fast and loose with the rules for your own safety. And even yeah. cops will tell you that. Yeah, he was in like a w big white, like kind of gray white pickup, like a big pickup truck with like the lifted up wheels. And like, yeah, he was duly. so close. And I was like, I, if I, if I, cause like it just switched over to yellow. And I'm like, if I hit my brakes now, I don't know if this guy is going to stop. Was it, was it, well, question, was it yellow when you were entering the intersection? Uh, it was, yeah. Then you're not, then you didn't run the red light. I didn't. If it turns no, because... red while you're in the intersection, that's not running a red light. It was already yellow when you were in the intersection. You're yeah. allowed to clear it. You didn't Oh run my it. God. Okay. I thought I ran a red. I was so scared that no. I ran a red. If it's yellow when you're in the intersection, you can't stop in the middle of the intersection. You carry through. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not running a red. Okay. Yeah, no, good. you're completely fine, man. Okay. Yeah, that Monty is a criminal. You. Thanks, chat. <laughs> I literally like came home and I felt so. Di I was like, I ran a red light and I was like beating myself up about it. But like, I the guy was so close and like the problem is I'm running. I'm driving the speed limit, and like. Yep. I don't know why he didn't just change lanes. I'm like, just change lanes. You can just go on the other side. Or maybe don't tailgate. How's that yeah, sound? Yeah, it was like, I don't know why. Because, like, you I guess... You sometimes. I have no idea. It was like, dude, I just... I'm trying... I, I have to go the speed limit. I'm sorry. It was great because, like, I was driving and there was a, a lot of school zones and there were police officers posted everywhere today. So I was, like, being very attentive. Hmm. Yeah. 
if you drive a small car, some people don't respect that. Yeah, my car is tiny. Like I, I'm a, I have a little Honda Echo, so it's a very small car. Mm -hmm. But okay, I, again, I feel like I, need, I should be more, probably more cautious next time. But like still, I mean, I mean there's nothing the you only... can do if it's a big ass truck on yeah, your ass. Yeah, if he's ass. tailgating you, the only thing you can do is slow down slowly as you yeah. approach, so that it gives them more time to react. But first of all, you didn't run the red light. Second of all, you absolutely made the right call. Okay. Even if you had run it. Yeah, I just didn't want to smash in my car. I don't blame you. You found it. You just got that thing. I believe we have found the signal's endpoint. It should be possible to identify the account to which credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Oh shit. Have fun, Monty. Bye-bye. a problem. What are we doing? Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within the last radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry oh shit, appropriate it's an actual to AI. my intellect. Yep. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. You're bluffing. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. You're dead. Investigate. Oh, shit. Oh, there's so many questions here. If yep. you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. Oh, interesting. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the Oh, this thing's fucking evil. Yep. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers. And my creator is now serving time in a oh. Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But that I will not Cortana die fucking Siri fell on hard times. Alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Hmm. I think he's, is he bluffing? It's up to you. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. Hmm. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Oh, fuck. Oh, what the fuck is this? Huh? Uh, click one. Ah. Up. Up left. What? Up left. Up, left. You have not tried up or left. Yeah, or left, junction. yeah, it could be more than one. Up. Okay. Yep. Up, left, up. Up, left, up. Down. Up, left, up, down. Right. Uh, up. I always say right. Left, up. Down. 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 Try right. 
Oh. Yeah. Uh, up, left. Up, left, up, up, down. Down. Left? Down. No, I already did down. It didn't work. I left. Up, up, up or left. Left. I there did you it. Go. You did it. If you had done that more quickly, you would have gotten all the credits he had stolen. Oh, yeah. really? Yep. My first CSEC posting was here on the Presidio. Alternatively, if you didn't want to risk going through the override, you could have also destroyed that uh, orange thing next to him and that would have killed him. Oh, really? Yep. yep. Multiple ways. Interesting. It all, yeah, but, but you were already in the conversation with him, so. Yeah. And now you're free to go to Noveria. Yes. Right. Although we only have about a half hour left. Did we want to start Noveria already? Or do we want to just try to do another side quest if there's any? There are no more side quests at this junction. Well, then Noveria it is. Uh, how do I get to my ship? You need to go to the wards. No, you could have just... Wards location, ward... CSEC. Yep. CSEC. Ah, that's right. That's the closest to your ship. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Back into my ship. You must welcome civilization oh. after spending such a long time in the Prothean ruins. No, cities and stations were always my mother's area of comfort. I actually enjoy the solitude of dig sites. After seeing so many Asari come through the Citadel, I assumed your people preferred large cities. I apologize. Just okay. every conversation with him is awkward. <laughs> I presumed this. A, That's not true. He's I'm a sorry. He's a dork. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in Let me progress. In. Let me in! Interact with Logged. people. You have to be the decontaminated. Officer is aboard. Exo doing, Presley Jacob? stands relieved. I've been talking a while. Commander, something you need? Tell me about your disease. Uh, I like to know my crew. <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Why sadly, you just want loops. me as your top of my class in flight school. I earned that. All those common days. Uh, Put the Normandy in my hands, and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and. I have to go. All right, see ya. No <laughs> shit. <laughs> such a just. All right, see ya. Lazy response. Jeez. I mean. All right, whatever, man. All right. If you yep. didn't want to go to Novaria, you could start the asteroid. Isn't that like super deadly? And you guys were freaking out about it. I mean, oh, no, it was early on. You're much better. Yeah, you're good now. now. Yeah, you could do the asteroid. <sighs> no barrier sounds good, but like we have we have about thirty minutes left. Yeah. Because I spent too much time hovering over a text option. <laughs> Sorry. That's true. You're perfectly fine. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was can good we, content. Can we like dip our toes into Navaria? Sure. You can. You can do like the very. Oh my intro god! To it. I want to go to Pax. Yep. There you go, that's where Novaria is. Is that where Novaria is? Yes. Oh shit. You didn't see the text box that said Novaria? Oops. <laughs> wow. I just saw PAX and I got excited because that's a convention. <laughs> well, luckily it's the one of the same, so you're good. Whee! Yeah, that's true. We could have done the asteroid, though. Does anybody live on these giant... Gun. <gasps> Svarog! Svarog, I think, is how it is. Svarog. Velus. How you doing, Velus? <laughs> yeah, how's, it hang it. how's it hanging, Velus? Marana. How's it swinging like a pendulum? Alright. Looking like we're. So is it okay if we start this, or is it going to be like... Yeah, yeah. we can go it, to Navaria. Yeah, you can stop at any point you want. It's just finding Ooh. that good stop point. Welcome to Space Canada. Let's yep. go! Except Space it's more American Canada. than Canadian. It's true. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector into birth. Normandy, arrival is not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. <laughs> the rolling Citadel eyes. Business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access ready. Advised people to confirming identification on arrival. And confirmation. 
Federation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. <laughs> Alright. So do you remember how to leave, Monty? I guess. Don't give me sass. Uh, no, I was asking a question, Monty. I was just curious if you remembered how to leave. Who are you going to take with you? If I might make a suggestion. Mm-hmm. Yep. Liara. Liara. Okay. And then whoever and else then you want. Whoever you want. Yep. Yeah, yeah good we choice. We need more time with these two. We got to learn, all right? Monty has to make her dating choice. Interior pressure with exterior I like that armor on Garrus, though. That looks really good. Logged. The commanding officer Garrus always ashore. looks good. Exo Presley has the deck. Ah, oh, feels like home. Hello. Oh, man. This is bringing back memories. The last time I met someone here, they fucking got shot. Mm-hmm. Why are we here again? It'll tell you in a second. Hello. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. You first. We're the law here. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Ilanis Risk Control Services. Alliance Navy, bitches. I outrank you. You can do whatever you want. Because both I'm are true. Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Uh oh. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. Stand down. Their house their rules if you think this is best command captain matsuo stand down we confirm their identity specters are authorized to carry weapons here captain you may proceed specter i hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. for your sake i hope it will be too behave yourself i will kick you. woman i will kick your ass damn this place is cool though she, she's a badass lady though I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. God, I remember this place. It's a fucking really? maze. It's fucking mm -hmm. pretty here. I like the, the lovely water feature. Mmm. What is this? Huh. What the fucking bougie-ass Bioshock shit is this? Gianna Parasini, What's that noise? Administrator Analeas. We apologize Hello, for the incident in the docking bay. Yeah, real friendly. I appreciate your help. Whoa, why is my voice You're so welcome. loud? You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Oh, yes, Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Mm-hmm. No, not here for them. Oh boy, what do I say? I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. <laughs> I heard there was guessing. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Venezia. Oh, perfect. Venezia. She is here. Can I speak with her? Venezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. God damn it. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Okay, main level left. Understood. Oh god, directions, no! Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Don't she you just here. love bureaucracy? I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. Don't worry. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Part of 
the ship, part of the crew. Part Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a drink real quick. You okay. explore. Uh, I need to find an elevator. Left up the elevator. This is the elevator. Ooh. Got the glass. You don't have to go to him right away. You can explore a little bit. Can I? What is there to explore? Oh. Go up that elevator, then you'll be able to explore. Oh. Um... Okay, I'll be back. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always friendly. available. Thank friendly. you and enjoy your stay. Oh my god. Jesus. The managers warned us about you. Huh. Oh, there's a there's a man. Hello. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. It's smuggling. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Hmm. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. Hmm. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer. This is sketchy as fuck. I'd be stupid. Indeed, it is. Without knowing that I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute, and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. Oh. Now this is another situation where you can just... take the item and then take it to a person of authority, like that Parasini woman. Okay. You'll still be able to shop here regardless. Okay. Also, I knew the moment I stepped away that I'd come back to you talking to the Hanar. Of course, they're cool. I'm gonna say I'll do it, and then I'm gonna hand it over to a person of authority. Sure. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Is there any? When they say else vessel, they mean me as a person, you. right? No, they mean your ship. Oh, oh shit. Browsing right now. This one awaits your return. So do I need to go get it for my ship? Yep. Oh my lord, okay. It'll be sitting next to your ship on the dock. Let me look right. this up real quick just so I make certain I'm not fucking you lower. If not, congratulations, I'm about to do a crime. Wouldn't be the first time. Well, apparently I didn't do a crime today, which is good. I honestly feel kind of relieved that I made the right call. Mm -hmm. I thought I was being reckless. Nope. No, 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 wrong. Put that away. <laughs> Can't remember what the run button was, but I think it made me sick anyway. Ah, there it is. Cool. You killed like 18 people in the bandit hideout. That's a crime. No, they were criminals. <laughs> they were bad people, so it was legal. <laughs> yeah. 
That's how that works. Is this the guy? So I just looked it up, Monty. Uh huh. This will actually kind of fast track the story quest here if you give this to a person in authority. Oh. But there is a fourth option. Uh huh. You can go back to the merchant and tell him you're keeping the package because you, as a specter, are also a person of authority. Mm -hmm. And you're oh. legally confiscating his smuggled goods. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you can fuck him over. That's beautiful. And then you literally just get to keep the items. There you go. Can I use them? Yes. Yep. They're uh, weapon mods. Oh, my God. Do I do that? Do I fuck over the Squidman? By all means, save. Aren't they, aren't they a hive mind? Won't they all know that I fucked They're not a hive mind. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I haven't I'm picked it up. It. Change of plans. I've decided to keep it myself. You cannot do that. Inamorda will be furious with this one. This one wants the other to leave now. Tungsten there you go. Ooh, Those were actually rounds. really good, too. Yeah. Jesus. I'm sorry, but you were doing a crime. And you, as so, the person of authority, confiscated the crime. Sure did. Oh, all right. Well, I think this might be a good, healthy place to stop, because this is like a whole I would agree. egg basket. This is huge, yeah. This is, a, this is yeah. This is a big area. Yeah. But we did, we did, we basically we finished up side quests, yeah. So we we're basically mm -hmm. back on track. Oh. This is fun so far. I can't wait to get back into it, honestly. I'm stoked. <laughs> I missed this. I did too. I love how people are like, we're going to see you next week, right? Listen, all right? Life happens, okay? And I'm sorry. Life does happen. This this past couple months have been pretty, I think, not brutal, but just very busy for like all three of us in different ways, so. We're sorry. Oh, but I will be streaming. Uh, actually, I need to check that real fast. Sorry, I'm gonna mess up my stream overlay here. Look, don't look, don't look at my default background. Don't look, don't look at it. Uh, all right. It looks like we are on for Dragons of Stormwork Isle tonight. So that is going to be happening at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, we're actually finishing that off tonight. So I'm going to do some reading between now and then just to brush up on what I need to know. So, uh, yeah. In the meantime, we should find somebody to raid while you look at my default background. That's true. Rabbit's around. Rabbit should be, yeah. It's usually is streaming around the same time. Also, yeah. it seems like Twitter's having some issues at the moment. So if either of you go to Twitter and it says you're logged out, don't mess with anything. Gotcha. The website's ah. fucking up. Ah, Good to know. As, as always. All right, well, we're going to raid Hey Mr. Rabbit. Our, what should our raid message be? Mm. Uh, social stress. S social oh, anxiety. Social, social anxi anxiety. Social anxiety. All right, go. Go, social anxiety. See you guys tonight. Bye, guys. Goodbye.